Welcome everyone. Got day two of our sunshine build town sunshine town build on tap here. I say this was the final result of yesterday's build. I got some excess glue on there. I think that'll scrape off, but it doesn't really show. We got our little birdie on top of our turns out it's a mailbox or post box as the <laughs> and our one of our little plants and our other little plant. I say I'm but, pretty pleased with how these, these all turned out. They all seem to be, I think, fair representations of what they're supposed to be. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we got to set those aside today because we've got, well, the green one don't like to stand up. It's a little top heavy, I think. But anyway, you got to basically step four, step five, and step six today. I'm going to be probably jumping around a bit back and forth between them just to sort of keep going keep keep moving forward because i'm gonna paint on this one then i'm gonna glue on this one then i gotta do a bunch of stuff on this one so i'm hoping by the time i do all that the paint will be dry on this one so i can glue on it <laughs> and uh <clears throat> then but then the glue will be dry on this one so it's going to be round robin but it's going to be like say you know these three steps are my goal for the day and that being said i will need the paint the little brush thing and glue so and also I did get a uh, sort of a, something a big, slightly bigger drop sheet because I knew I was gonna be working on this big piece here so and I'm not sure if you won't even want to watch me oh that's got a peel on it too I just realized that okay <laughs> that's uh but I'm not sure you're gonna want to want to watch me paint but I'm going to today and we'll find out you know y'all will pr probably let me know in the comments whether you want to watch this part of it i i sort of find it i don't know if cathartic's the right answer but i sort of i sort of like seeing paint go on i was like old bob ross and let's see it says to paint the edges on these two pieces but not up here in the lattice work just around the edges and uh, on the outside and inside. Okay. So, pop that open. Like I said, this is some... I've got this this little... I can just come in on this a little bit, can I? This little paint brush works really good. But doing... I'm going to try with a bigger one. See how that goes. And I may give up on it almost immediately. We'll find out. I'm not super steady at my, on my, with my hands. So I'm <laughs> it may not take on this either. But I think with the bristles, it lets me get a lighter coat in. Sort of spread it out a little bit more evenly. I think it will. <laughs> I think it's it's basically says you know a couple of coats is probably going to be necessary on most of them so that's I don't know honestly I don't know if this is any better than one yesterday yet but I'll, let's say I'm going to give it a go at least on this little piece and see how it goes and go from there dab it on and then I'll spread it around. Yeah. Of course, it isn't big enough where I can actually hold it in my hand and I have to clamp it in place like I did on that last one. <laughs> Getting a little splash on there, but not. I don't think it's going to. been taught that you do two or three really light coats looks better than one thick coat that's what my dad always taught me about painting walls anyway <laughs> uh, 
I want to make sure I stay away from the there. Oop. No, it didn't work. <laughs> there's a little just notice there's a little gold trim around the edge that I painted over right there. It may not be showing up. Let's see if I can adjust the Yeah, see I painted over it in that little section, but maybe it'll dry clearer. See it looks like it doesn't not very th thick on the Looks like it dries real light, so maybe I should just go now. Now that's that one done. I need to find something that I can sit it on. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, this thing's probably thick enough. I'll grab it. And okay. And just for comparison's sake, I'm going to try their uh, paintbrush. It may. I don't think that's going to be better. Seems like it's slower. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to immediately go back to the other brush because it gets much more coverage on it and. Okay, one more plan I'm going to try. Take, trim down the bristles on this one. I got stubby bristles. <laughs> See if I can get a little more control out of them. I don't think it's the brush, I think it's me. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be honest, I really just want to stick my finger in it and drag it along and see if that works too. <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not there yet. <laughs> okay, Let's see if I can get on there. No, that's I think I cut too much bristles off of it. Okay. These are cheapo, so I do have backups on. <laughs> yeah, there's probably some happy medium between this one and their brush. Where you get some significant amount of coverage without being so sloppy. But I don't know enough about painting to do that. Okay. Okay, that one worked pretty good. <laughs> Let's try that again. Channel slow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm coming into just gotta do three quarters an inch at a time. On the out there with the paint on it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, it's got paint on the bottom side, so let's not sit it down on this one. <laughs> okay, stick with that a little bit at a time. Put lots of paint on and thin it all the way out. <laughs> mm 
Not thin it out, spread it out. Thinning paint's a different thing. <laughs> I think. Okay. Yeah, this uh, makes thrilling video, I'm sure. at the bottom. Okay. I think you've probably seen enough of me painting, so I'm not going to make you watch me paint the inside of it. So uh, I'll be right back once I'm done with the painting. I'll be working on the other sides. <laughs> okay, the first coat is on and it's over there drying. So I'm actually going to work on this one next, and I don't know why. I gotta check in my camera settings. My autofocus isn't working anymore. <laughs> Got these guys. This seems like the simplest step. It's step six, so I'm just gonna go ahead and knock it out because I, I hope it's simplest. Okay, so I'm just this little. Three nice little dips. And then line those guys up appropriately. Brown side out. <laughs> I just feared it. My dogs were just barking. I just feared it out. It was the air compressor went off in the garage. <laughs> or went on in the garage, I guess. Those guys all nice and neatly lined up on their little marks. Alright. Same thing again. Just dip. 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 And I just realized my battery is running out on me. So I'm, I'm still going to end up doing a lot of breaks on this one. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Get you guys lined up. And actually, pretty close right off the bat. A little bit more that way. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah. Okay. That's step seven, or step six, excuse me. <laughs> so that's. Uh, that was not good on that top one, is it? Bottom one, whatever that is. How does that look? Yeah, and then this one's not. I mean. Okay. I think they look pretty okay. See them line up next to each other. Oh, oh. <laughs> can't, can't get them to line up next to each other. Okay, there they go. Yeah, those look pretty identical to me. That's how once the glue dries. Cool. So that, like I said, that completes step six. Get them over here, let them dry on that piece of cardboard. And actually, I think this is probably going to be the most complicated step so let me change that battery out and I'll be right back and we'll do that okay actually I don't think I'll need my drop sheet well yeah well for part of it <laughs> let's take these pieces over there Yeah. 
Okay, actually. We're going to do this right off the bat. Okay, I dig it. Okay, we take... Let's get... Come back here. Stay. This guy... Couple of drops. I'll probably do three. Hmm. 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 And goes down there with the print up. Oh, I didn't realize those. Okay, the, those were cuts actually on those. So glue popped up through there. Neat. I was just gonna. I thought they were just marks to hit the glue. Okay. And you in place and get a. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around here. Right at the toothpick. Make sure this is cleaned out there. And. Those two this away. Okay, so the saucer gonna go on that X and our wooden pin bead thing over on that one. So the saucer there and There. And then teacup, coffee cup, obviously goes in the middle of the saucer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Is that in the middle? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty close. All right. So that's... It looks like there's supposed to be some space there, but, but not according to the X's. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, yeah, it, it does not appear that the drawing is to scale for the actual item. <laughs> so I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, now for our flowers that go in our little base thing. It's, that's what these little doodads are for. And we're supposed to cut them, looks like 25 mil off of one end, so they're slightly different lengths. Let's see here, what we got? I don't even know how long will they... Move that a little bit further up, because I'm liable to hit that and knock it over. Whoop. Did my battery... Ah, oh, my battery died. No, I forgot to turn it off. i got some of those around somewhere, but I don't know where they're at. Ah, darn. Alright, so... <laughs> old school. Do -do -do. You are... Where are you? Looks like... 55, 57 mil. I want to cut 20... Okay, yeah, so there'll be... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. How am I going to... What am I going to use to cut? And... <laughs> Normally I've got like 600 pieces of spare cardboard sitting around to... <laughs> Do this with um all right I guess I'll just use scissors so I said what I said said 25 right 25 ish looks like, looks like it might mean 27 uh, then I'm gonna aim for 25 <laughs> okay so 
Well, actually, there's a couple extra mil on the end, so I'll probably be in the 27 area. So you about up there. And so that one. Okay. Now, supposedly, okay, yeah, they do just pop out. Cool. <laughs> Four of them. Three. Yeah, that was crinkled. Let's do one that's not crinkled. Four. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to use my handy dandies. Supposedly. I don't think that's. Eh. It might be. Yeah, okay, it is. <laughs> okay, I need some glue on that after all. No, okay, I just gotta squeeze it on up to the okay, yeah, I just gotta squeeze it on up to the top and it'll hold on. Okay. Alright. Are there not the same both sides? Uh the black background does help with this. <laughs> I didn't want to go home. Far more cooperative. <laughs> and not cooperative on going all the way to the end. But it's on there. Cool. <laughs> Last one. four flowers in nice so bring this guy back up and put glue down the center yeah put gravity between gravity and us poking these in there I hope it'll fall in there <laughs> I'm going to use my handy dandies. Yeah. Oh, stem petals came off. <laughs> okay, let me try and put those back on after a while. be in the way if I don't do it now. Ah, there's one other one. Went. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to let that glue down in the vase or whatever you call that set before I... <laughs> I think I'll be able to maneuver that around, like I say, once that glue inside there sets and will hold them in place. And I think 
I may try and get a little a drop of glue up on if I lay them on their side I can get a drop of glue on top and it'll hold them in place yeah because it doesn't say anything about glue mm -hmm. yeah it doesn't say anything about using the actual glue on the, the the flowers themselves so okay so that's set that up out of the way while it dries maybe I can just put the, I'm gonna need my over there okay and I don't think it's quite time for another coat of paint yet so I'm gonna take a few minutes and let that dry a bit more and I'll be right back again hopefully the last time should be getting close now there'll be at least one more break <laughs> so but I'll be right back okay right quick just do a quick check in on it you'll see it like I said I hadn't got good coverage that's that's after the one coat so it's still pretty transparent through there imagine this it's splotchy but it's same thing there it's still a lot of brown showing through there so I'm definitely gonna go over it at least at least one more time and actually I, I, I don't think I have to do this side because I think that's the bottom yeah that's the bottom so I don't have to do the bottom I have to remember not to do that one I remembered after I did all that with the brush that I actually have a paint pen <laughs> so I'm gonna give this a shot and I'll give you a well, I guess I can do that do the first little bit of it right now and we'll find out if it's gonna work <laughs> I don't even think I've ever used this one no nope, I haven't gotta find something to get started with uh, back on the hunt for <laughs> scrap yeah okay <laughs> Came out there. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna go down this. Okay, I believe <laughs> this is gonna be the way to go, folks. Yeah, getting much better coverage on this. Much more control. It's got to be reasonably patient with it. <laughs> I use these things too so I'm not sure that's how I'll finish this top part up then I'll shut her down and we can and I'll just wait and I'll come back after this this coat is dried but yeah this I think this is gonna be the way to go on I'm like this you know just gotta be well You gotta go be uniform with your strokes on it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna I say that's I, I feel like that's gonna be the way to go. I'm gonna recommend getting a, a paint pen <laughs> to do that on the sides. But like I say I'll do the rest of it and let it dry and then I'll come back and like I say, all we gotta do is glue that in place and that'll finish oh and the this part too, I forgot about it. But uh and then we'll be that'll finish this up for the day. So I'm gonna like I say, I'm gonna go do the painting part and I'll be right back. Alright, it took I think four coats is what I ended up doing. Uh this was a good idea, this was a better idea. The the thick the thick tip on the end of this one was much better covering getting coverage and I think it 
and this wood does soak up a ton of paint so I, I do recommend something more than the little bitty brush they come with but I think that turned out pretty good the white's a little almost too white <laughs> and I got a few splotches I, I missed on there but otherwise looks good now <laughs> get some a uh, little bit of more work done okay we got you little well I don't, don't need that on there anymore <laughs> but this you're supposed to line up with those steps there. Looks like it's flush at the bottom, so that's mm. let's see. I think it eh. Yeah, it looks like it's yeah, there's there's a lip on the the top side but the bottom is flush and I think side to side is flush too so let's see yeah that looks so I can't I, 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 I have hit something in my camera and turned the autofocus off is all I can come up with but okay but that's what we're aiming for so few splotches of the glue. I'm coming around to their glue. I like the nice small uh, applicator. <laughs> and put that on and sort of wiggle it around and wiggle it wiggle its way down. Sounds good. Bottom's good. Hold this for a few more seconds. And then uh, maybe while I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, so this piece goes in that hole there, supposedly. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, should have done that before I put the... <laughs> okay, try it. Okay, there it went. Okay. I got that piece in there. They were still flush on either side. Oh, got a little... about right and da -da -da. okay so I'm gonna give this five or ten minutes to for that glue to sit in a little bit and then I'll be right back and we will finish up so be right see you then be right back you know what I'm say oh well <laughs> all right good news I think I got my focus problem fixed Got yeah, our glue is set and yeah, we're flush across the bottom there. Last thing to do today. Oh, don't need the ruler. <laughs> Spin this way. This thing. Get it situated. Like about like that. So thinking glue in there, 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 and up the top. Okay, so just one, two, three, four, five, six dabs of glue. They got it. They've got their recommended gluing places and They've only got five. They're saying, well, <laughs> what do they say here? They say here, here. Okay, I'm going to do it that way. Middle 
in there and there. Okay, I'll give it a shot. That's, they made these sit, so I'm, I'll trust them. Okay, so just here. Let's see. Done lost my picture. Underneath that column, that dead center, that column, and on that side. Move back on. Oh, and peel. <laughs> Almost forgot that part. Find an edge. <laughs> There it goes, I think. Ah. Okay, yeah. Now, I'll peel the other side after. Okay, all my windows are set. All the windows are totally covered. Got a little wiggle room all around them. I feel good about that once that glue sets in. Oop, if I jiggle it around. I think I'm still covered. You're a little too close for comfort on that corner. Okay. Okay. Make sure I got clearance, everything covered well. Okay. That concludes step four. So we've done four, five, and six. And now see if I can convince these things to come back up to the top. <laughs> and stay there. Okay. And I did. All right. <laughs> Oh, there's that. And these guys. All right, so I say that was four, five, and six. So a little bit of progress there today. I think you know, the painting thing threw me off. Let me check. Back off here again. Let's see here what's... We'll take a look at seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> Any more painting on them? <laughs> uh, no, just gluing. Uh, yeah, I see some painting on step ten. So what I may do tomorrow, I'll actually assemble seven, eight, and nine, then paint up step ten. So it can be ahead for the following day. That seems like a good tentative plan to me. All right. But anyways, folks, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all of that. Be good to one another. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.